Hola amigos, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Not completely different, just a little bit different. So, I'm going to be having a bit of trouble with uploading a few LPs. Mainly due to the fact that my computer probably can't handle me recording any more Pokemon Leaf Green on it. Therefore, after I upload episodes 19 and 20, which I still haven't done yet, I will be taking a break while I try to uh, transfer my save file onto this laptop. Now, in addition, Megamari is also on a break until I can get a tolerable recording of the next couple stages. So I want to have something in the meantime to entertain you guys with. So, what you've got here is a story brief, and... Professor Charles Xavier created the X-Men. So with that, we should know that we're playing X-Men Mutant Apocalypse on Super Nintendo. This game, it's a good game. Honestly, I really do like this game. It's got a couple of flaws, but it's probably among the best Marvel Comics-based games I've played. Now, the story here is that there's the island of Genosha, which is a prison camp for mutants, see? And we have to obtain information regarding the prison from their computer network, and take out the guards as well. By splitting up, the X-Men can more effectively disperse the enemy forces, so... We've got Wolverine's mission to access and destroy this Sentinel factory. Cyclops will intercept and destroy the train transport. Psylocke shall strike the main base, Gambit will attack the harbor base, and Beast will gain entry to the computer room, helping out Vector along the way. So the success of this mission rests with each of them and their incredible mutant powers. Let's get on with this. So we're going to be playing this in story order. Now, I have something to say. If during the later levels I play as Gambit a lot, it's because Gambit's like my favorite X-Men character, but... Anyway, the game is kinda like Battletoads, kinda. A lot of people uh, say that it's more Mega Man X meets Street Fighter. And, well, that's also a believable thing, too. Oh. The main thing about this is, you have access to a bunch of Street Fighter-style special moves. And each character has their own specialized abilities. Now, each character also has their own basic missions, and during the last stage, the characters also have their own separate missions as well. Want to take out the uh, guard that was off screen first, because he had a weapon. Wolverine's mission isn't terribly hard, he doesn't have to fight too many tough enemies. But that's really because he has to contend with a boss fight. Now, not every character has to conclude with a big multi-hit boss fight, but Wolverine's story does. Now, climb up this elevator shaft. Pretty much, in order to uh, climb onto a wall, you press forward, like the direction that you want... the direction of the wall, and hold that until Wolverine clings to the wall. He's the only character that has the wall cling, by the way. And you have to be in certain sprite positions in order to actually cling to the wall, otherwise... You don't do it. Now I've got a nice little mini-boss here. Oh! Now the mini-boss does do quite a bit of damage if he manages to hit you with his charging attack, but luckily... He only hit us once. So we climb up this giant spinal column. By the way, those uh, floating squares with an X on them, those are tokens. If you collect two of them, there's an extra life. Uh, you get an extra life for the character you collect it for. Each character has a specific number of lives, and the lives aren't actually shared between characters. So climb up here, and... Hey! I know you! Uh, hi, Sentinel! Uh, so I heard you like Marvel vs. Capcom? Uh... 
Heard you're not a terribly big fan of the Knicks. Oh. Heard you had a brother in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, actually. What was his name? Like, Magna... Manga... Mango, that's right. So, did you find that curly mustache? Oh, never mind. Sentinel is dead. As is uh, Marvel vs. Capcom humor, but I mean... And Wolverine just nonchalantly walks out. So that was Wolverine's mission. I'm going to be uploading one mission per episode. Which will make it a bit uh, spaced out, and it's the way I'm going to be doing that and stuff. So, next episode we're going to be taking on Cyclops' mission, so look forward to that. This is Tales of Fyraga, signing out. See you guys then.